a section of PMI static Kern Mantle Rescue Rope. Okay, this is a static rope. All the fibers inside are parallel to each other. The only thing that holds it together is the sheath itself. So it makes it a very low stretch rope because it's not braided. I always chain it together just because it's easy to get out and things aren't tangled up when I, when I uh, go to use it later on. Okay. <coughs> if you need more than four people carrying the stretcher, there's four handles sewn onto it already. We have four extra little webbing handles. They're very inexpensive. And if you don't have the webbing, take a piece of rope or whatever, you can make your own handles. But they are very handy. You can get eight people carrying this thing that way, if need be, and you can carry a tremendous load with it that way. If you get into a situation where you have to tow the stretcher, the tow strap, like I mentioned earlier, will clip onto the back of the backpack, and when the backpack is empty, this becomes a towing harness. You can wear it on your back and drag this with your hands free. There's two loops in the center of it. One of the loops, the, this one is at arm's length, okay? So if the thing gets down into a hole, you can reach back, get your hand in that loop and pull it, and it makes it a lot easier to drag it out of a hole. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get into this a little bit deeper. That second loop is if you have somebody there to help you. I'm rather lazy myself, and I, if I can get somebody to help me carry the load, I'm gonna do it. And if, he does, if he's got an excuse and says there's no handle, uh-uh, so I put a handle on there for him. Uh, also, this can be clipped in uh, to the carrying handles in the chest area, and it allows four people to drag the stretcher, and it just makes it a, a very light load if you have to drag it. The uh, last thing that we're gonna talk about is the SMC large steel locking carabiner, or snap link, uh, as the Army calls it. This is a 9,000 pound braking strength when the gate is locked or closed and locked. Okay, and it's got a large gate opening so it'll handle the slings, the eyes of the slings, so it's gonna be very safe to use. Uh, for the military, we'll put them out in black, obviously, and for civilians, we got them in nice, shiny, bright steel. Uh, that is the accessories. If you bought a flotation system to go with the stretcher, the one the military has approved fits in this pouch. Okay, the only other thing that we carry with this that we don't make is the SAM splint, which we got all bent up, but at least it still works. Uh, I usually put two of these in there, uh, my own personal one that I carry in the car, because if we do need to splint an arm or something, we've got something that we can splint it with. Uh, I'm not selling them, I'm just letting you know that these things are available. So this is not a sales presentation, it's a training session, okay? Uh, the other, we do have one other thing, I've got one of them on the stretcher. The buckles that we use are steel buckles and you have to thread the straps through, which takes a lot of time. In a stress situation when everybody's shooting at each other, you're not gonna wanna sit there and thread these straps through those little dinky buckles, just so you can drag somebody out. You can roll a guy over on the stretcher, Fasten the quick snap on it, tug it, it's tight, you start dragging. Fasten one or two straps and get the hell out of there. Uh, the, uh, you'll see a little bit more what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Now, the stretcher itself, before we get to that, we've got one other little item. If you get a guy with a spinal injury, how are you gonna treat it? Somebody has to immobilize this patient, so. What we do is we put a spine splint down inside the stretcher, which gives you the ability to do the C-spine immobilization. Or, and if you, if you need a backboard after this is out, I'll show you what we're talking about. You can effectively make this a long board once you do it properly. So we'll get into that here in a couple minutes. The stretcher, step on the bag and just pull it right out. Still doesn't look like a stretcher. Okay, the retainer strap is used for several things, but uh, to me, still the most important one is just keeping this thing rolled up tight in the bag. If you put this in the bag without this strap on, it's going to come open in the bag and you're going to wind up cutting the bag away. So when you put it away, always use this strap. You could also use this for a tourniquet if you had to, put it through here and tighten up on it. It just gives you something that you'd have right away instead of having to scrounge up something. Uh, now, when you start looking at plastics, plastics have a memory. It's like a spring. 
does one on roll. What do you do? This is kind of a neat plastic. We can take that memory out of there just by reverse rolling it. First of all, I didn't loosen the strap enough when I okay. Roll it back at the head, stand on the end of it, and lift it up as high as it'll go. Put your hand over the back and then reverse roll it. Now it'll lay flat. If it's real cold, you might have to do that twice. We'll do that on this end also. Now, before we get into the stretcher any deeper, I think we should talk about the spine splint, and then we can do this all in one demonstration and cut the time. Uh, there are some accessories that come with this package also. Rather than put them down inside the main part of the package like the other products on the market do, we give you a pouch on the outside where you can open this up and get everything you want, take out what you need, and then use it and zip it up and the rest of the stuff is still intact. You don't lose it on the scene. You don't have to go hunt for it the next time you need the device. So uh, we'll go through these as we, as we need it. Well, probably should explain it all now. First of all, how many people have used a 